Well, um, when when you go back and watch yourself on film for the first time as a starter, what were your impressions? Um, as Coach Ruth said, I was a little bit all over the place, um, but it wasn't in a bad way. You know, it was it was really in a good way. You know, uh, what he meant was I was running to the ball. Uh, I guess you could say I was trying to make every play, but I was still you know I was still still doing my assignment. So uh, so looking back on film, you know, watching film with Coach. Uh, I managed not to get an MA. Well, if I did, it, it wasn't on, uh, like it wasn't on my assignment. You know, playing the block. It was on, you know, missing sacks or, uh, you know, you know, not wrapping up. You know, things of that sort. Now that you've had a few more days, um, do you feel like, as you said on Saturday, that you know it was practice that really, mm -hmm. you know, gave you the confidence? Do you feel even more confident now? Oh yes, oh yes. Um, as soon as that first play is over. You know, confidence level, you know, you you kind of get that feel for it now, okay? I know what this guy's going to do. You know, just off one play, there's so many reads that go on that, you know, that from just watching film alone just can't give you. Um, <clears throat> like I said, that excellent week of practice, and, you know, you know, just like today, you know, you, you just got to keep working hard, uh, you know, just chopping wood. And and I think if you become too too confident or, you know, uh, or, or a little bit, you know, over anxious, you know, that can hurt you. Uh, that's what just, that's what being humble comes in. So, uh as coach said, you know, it's just it's just one start. I don't want this to be my peak. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't want it to be my end. So uh, definitely, just gonna you know continue to work hard. What do, What do you learn from playing? Probably as many snaps as you had all year. I mean, when when you go through that process for the first time, what what do you come out of it learning? Um, I, I learned a lot about Ole Miss's offensive line. <laughs> uh, I learned a lot about Ole Miss's playbook. Uh, but one thing I learned is is how to get the call. You know, and really be consistent. Um, I think I think the total snaps was 50, and, and, and yes, you're right. You know that's that's the most out of the whole year. Um, uh, one thing I learned, you know, being being more specific is I learned the old Mrs. Office line, uh, you know, strategy, you know, some of their tips and their points, uh, you know, some of the calls. That's stuff you don't get from getting eight snaps here, maybe four snaps this series and coming out. Um, you know, that's just that, that's stuff you don't get when you're rolling in. Um, so I think it helps. It helps you know stay consistent. It helps to keep going. Um, one thing I have to learn how to do is, you know, keep fighting on the long drives. Sometimes teams are going to no huddle, and I'm not going to be able to, you know, be sub. And teammates are not going to be able to be sub, so you got to buckle down. Was it frustrating earlier in the year when you were getting four snaps or eight snaps? Or? Um, I wouldn't say frustrating because I knew I, I, I knew I wasn't there on my part, uh, honestly. Um, and if, I'm not going to say I'm there now. You know, there's some things happen, you know, with Ken injury, and somebody had to step up. And, whether that person was was gonna be me or not, I was gonna be ready. Um, I didn't want the coaches to have any doubt, and I and I put no doubt in myself. Um, Utah State was, you know, it, people say it may not be, you know, it may have, it may not have been the Oregon LSU opener, you know, but it was still a good game, and it and it's you know it still it still got my butterflies out of me, you know, and and that was just three plays, but it it, it happened to be the funnest three plays of my life, mm -hmm. um, but. To truly say, I don't think I felt down about it. I, I knew who I was, at, you know, at practice, and that taught me to work hard because you get more snaps in the game at practice throughout do you, the week. Do you think that's why you're, you're starting now? You know, some of the coaches have talked about freshmen not understanding why they're not. Oh yes, oh yes. Um, to be honest, after the Mississippi State game, uh, I got called. I got called. Uh, you know, coaches in the office. I think he just wanted to see, you know, where I'm, where, where I am mentally. I think I had about nine snaps, you know, out of them two games. And I, I know it's a lot of hype, you know. I know I brought that on myself, you know, with the whole Niku situation. But again, the outside world doesn't know what goes on, you know, you know, throughout practice. That's some that's something I just had to take on to myself. You know, that's one shit that I had to get off my shoulder. Um, fall camp, you know, with my injury, I had to battle back, you know, and, and just and just truly listen to my leaders and you know, follow their tips, listen to my coaches. Your next game against Isaiah. Oh yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Um, I feel good. I, I'm I'm really amped up, but I, I'm not a guy who's just you know talk about it too much. Uh, I've been hitting Isaiah every spring, uh, except two. But you know I I, I kind of know some of his talents. You know I know some of his traits. I, I'm sure that'll help. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna you know tell my guys. You know I'm gonna tell Coach Roof what I think gets at Isaiah because because me personally I mean I, I know best. Uh, you know, you can't call Coach McGee and ask him because I, was, I, you know, he coached both of us. You know, but uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not worried. But you know, I definitely feel good. I feel, I feel real good about playing against him.
Are you going to talk to him coming up in the next week? And are you just going to? Uh, my brother taught me, no matter who it is, you don't talk to the person until after the game ends. Um, just throughout the game, no matter what it is, even if I, even if it was my brother I was playing against, you don't talk to him after the game. That way, if you know if y'all get at it, you know it ain't it ain't no hard feelings because y'all ain't talk. If he comes up to me trying to shake my hand, I don't say nothing. He should know right now. I'm serious. Have coaches kind of given you any indication of you know what their plans are with you and Ken moving forward? Like, is this your spot now, or what's the kind of um, indication? There? Like I said, the main thing was just him getting injured. Um, the way I see it. Like I said, you know, somebody had to step up and fill that void. And, uh, you know, I, I guess I guess I was the one to do it. But me staying there, you know, that's 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 not 100 percent to anybody. You know, um, we knew from day one, we start off 14 guys. We were going to play. We were going to have to do defense by committee. And uh, I think now we're down to nine. And, 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 and that's one of the toughest places to play is on the old line and D line. And uh, for a freshman, it definitely it, it definitely wasn't easy, you know, uh, once I finally knew, I think that Thursday night, you know, I really had to take it, you know, take it to my head. You know, I think I called Ken, talked to Ken all night, you know, just, you know, just constantly uh, getting tips, you know, getting pointers. Um, but definitely right now, uh, I am taking snaps with Orange, but uh, I've been taking snaps with Orange since, you know, since week one. You know, that's the way we, that's the way we rotate, just in case something like this does happen, so, you know, so we're prepared. Talk about this week. I mean, Coach Chizik and then, you know, talk about these are learning weeks to go mm -hmm. back and kind of look. How big is this for you? You kind of, kind of had to try to get game plan, do all the stuff, all these weeks. Now that you kind of go back and look on those things, how big of a week is this for you guys? Real big. Oh, real big. We, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say we needed it, but we needed it. <laughs> uh, not just injury wise, but <coughs> any week you have, you know, to just get better on, on practice. You know, get better on the things that you know how to do. Uh, we got one of the best coaching staffs in the nation, if not the best. And uh, having an extra week of them coaching us, you know, you can't beat. Um, one of the things we focus on a lot today was special teams, and uh, you know, of course, run fits. You know, we know Georgia is going to try to run the ball on us, and, and we want to we want to continue to make the point that we're the most improved defense, uh, you know, in the country. Coach Pelton said that early, like right in the beginning, uh, fall camp and stuff, you got hurt to kind of help back your development. Mm -hmm. What was the? Um, it was just a tweak in my MC. You know, in my MCL, uh, mm -hmm. to be more specific, I just had a deep bone bruise underneath my kneecap. And uh, if you ever had a deep thigh bruise, you know, it really hurts. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's all it was. Just something I had to rehab and get better, and me and the training staff really worked hard doing that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Does, uh, does Isaiah still have that dog that you brought out on signing day? Uh, <laughs> from what I hear, he just rented it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>